right down there to that beautiful pile. A little deeper pile than normal. First fish of the day, good fish, good start, good eater. We're gonna keep some today, do some cleaning. Appreciate you guys sitting here and watching. Three pound fishing, baby. Guide trips are going awesome. So we're, we're fishing some piles that we don't typically fish. The goal today is to see if we can get to a limit really quick. Now we got bluebird days, we've got clear, no wind. So not the easiest conditions on my home lake. Visibility is about four foot here, but we might have an active bite. There's another one. And we like an active bite. Perfect eating size. Now, if you notice, I am fishing with a new prototype that we might be seeing here in the very near future. Wind grip. Very comfortable rod right now. But it is a prototype. And we're just casting out here, guys, staying back, just like we normally do. And just playing those fish. And uh, I noticed the bite got a little better, a little bit better last night, so I figured I'd come out here this morning, do a video and see how the morning bites going we got a lot of guide trips coming up we've just got done with a big long stretch of them everybody left happy it was fantastic i know there's some videos coming out there i did some videos with those guys uh, i've been fishing Ren lake a lot lately um different kind of bite there which which is fantastic a white crappie you probably saw some images if you guys are uh, following on all the other social media sites um facebook instagram they all have them so they have those pictures you guys can check them out but we have been hammering them um, a lot on Rin Lake lately and Crab Orchard but Crab Orchard we cannot guide on just so you guys are aware mm -mm -mm. bam <coughs> All right, guys, want to remind everybody that the new reels are in the house. These things have been flying off the shelf. It's been awesome, especially the black and black and red one. Interesting enough, I always thought the, the all matte black would be, the, you know, the, the choice. But I'm telling you what, we got a load up of these reels right now. The all matte black one, I think it looks absolutely sweet. Um, but this guy's been flying off the shelf. Uh, matches the hammer, matches the Savage, of course. But it's got that mixture. It does have the three pound fishing logo underneath the reel and uh those are smoking hot you can actually buy three of these for like it goes cheaper like it's like 34 bucks a piece if you buy three of them um but individually 39 bucks on the website check it out guys those things are flying off the shelf love it to death like i said earlier we're prototyping some additional rods that um are going to be coming out here probably in the winter time um, but regardless, the Hammer 10, the Savage, all those great rods are available. And we're going to be making our rounds during all the shows. I can't not wait to meet everybody. Come out, talk crappie. Uh, we started all off at the Collinsville show. We will be there in force. Um, we will have all the rods, all the new displays. We are very excited about that and building the, the whole rod setup. So today we got Bluebird Day. No wind conditions. Probably the toughest conditions you can ever have on at least my lake. Um, makes it very difficult because uh, again, we have four foot of visibility. But even with that said, I still tie straight to the jig with my braid. Um, I get that question a lot. Never do I even bother with a leader. I've tried it, doesn't seem to make a difference. Um, so my opinion on that is always going to be, fish is gonna eat, fish is gonna eat. Um, and that's, you know, everybody's gonna have their different thoughts on it. But I do have the asteroid and the comet mixing it up, that type of thing. So let's do it. And again, we're just sitting back here throwing at these piles. About 30 feet is where I start off at. Then I'll creep up there probably around 20 nowadays. Seems like they're not as spooky. Um, oh yeah, baby. There we go. All right, guys, we're gonna use some bait pop here. Anytime you got a finicky bite, 
I always recommend it. So we're gonna smear that all on there. It's about all about getting the scent down there to them. And it definitely changes the look. All these new colors, guys, are freaking hot. Um, pumpkin, blackout, I love it. Changes it all up. You guys can check those guys out at baitpop.com. But we're gonna go down here and see if we can't chum up the water a little bit with the bait pop and get these guys going a little bit. There we go. First drop with it. Wow. Wow, that's awesome. Yep, and we still got bait pop on there, guys. Still got it on there. It sticks around, that paste is awesome. There we go. Second drop with the bait pop. Bam. Putting fish in the boat is what it does. Tell people all the time, man. I'm using that minnow bait I have on my website right there. Check them out. Got a bunch of plastics on the website. Good fish. So a lot of people ask me like, you know, why do you go from a paddle tail to a minnow style? Um, when I really think they need some action, uh, that's a finicky bite, typically I'll, I'll use a paddle tail. Um, but sometimes it's okay to try a minnow style, a shad style. These are available on my website. Especially if I wanna go a little bit more vertical opposed to swimming it by them. Um, so if I'm just lightly pitching, I like the minnow style. If I'm gonna swim it by from 20, 30 feet, I love the paddle style. Um, I'm also just watching what the fish are doing and how they're reacting. Um, now, so those are my two real baits. Now, I prefer a hair jig. Hair jig's number one, but if they're not acting on a hair jig, which they are not right now, I'm always bouncing back and forth between that paddle tail and that minnow style or shad style bait. Again, check it out at Three Pound Fishing Guys. There we go, guys. There's our loot. Not quite a, uh, a limit, but by golly, some great fish to, to, to share with the family, no doubt about it. Appreciate you guys watching. Uh, please do me a favor and share. Great day on the water. Still absolutely bluebird day. And uh, yeah, we got some fish. Absolutely. Check out that sniping braid now. That comet's on fire. Take it easy, guys.